We're talking about Kierkegaard today and uh, I'm going to read you a famous quote by him which really exemplifies his idea of angst and anxiety. This condition of being beset on all sides by so many choices but being ultimately ill-equipped to ever make the right one because we are structured on a very basic level to be incapable of being satisfied. Marry and you will regret it. Don't marry, you will also regret it. Marry or don't marry, you will regret it either way. Laugh at the world's foolishness, you will regret it. Weep over it, you will regret that too. Laugh at the world's foolishness or weep over it, you will regret both. Believe a woman, you will regret it. Believe her not, you will also regret it. Whether you believe a woman or believe her not, you will regret both. Hang yourself, you will regret it. Do not hang yourself, and you will regret that too. Hang yourself or don't hang yourself, you'll regret it either way. Whether you hang yourself or do not hang yourself, you will regret both. This, gentlemen, is the essence of all philosophy. What do you make of that? Is regret a fundamental aspect of life? Or is Kierkegaard just projecting his own depressive outlook onto the rest of us? Or is this just a fancy way of saying that the grass is always greener? What do you think? Whatever the case, this is just one of many quotes which shed light on Kierkegaard's gloomy outlook and the reasons why he might have chosen to abandon the woman he loved and who loved him for reasons that still appear unclear to us. But what about you? Have you ever been faced with a clear choice between two paths, consciously taken one of them, only to then be beset by regret that you picked the wrong one? Personally, I face hard choices every day, just like him, just like you, and just like everybody else. And one of the main factors for me is choosing based on what might leave me fewer regrets in the future and usually doing gives you fewer regrets than not doing. I know that I quit my job because I thought I didn't want to end up being 60 and regretting that I didn't follow my dreams. And this way I know that that will never happen even if I fail. So choosing based on what will give you fewer regrets kind of works for me. And I've always found that there's comfort in choosing knowingly of owning the choices you make. Even if they're wrong, you think long and hard and you meditate on it and, and then you choose. And if you do that, you know that that's really the best you could have done in the situation. And if you knew that you did your best, where's the regret there? <laughs>